Where is my iPad? Hello, my name is Jenny. I'm an artist based in Taiwan. Got a package. I have a small studio called JC Studio. This is your handwriting. I haven't count the amount. I feel like I should, but I'm kind of lazy. And I make a lot of cute art. In this video, I'll be showing you how I prepare for a Dragon Year. Or maybe I should just draw derpy dragons. I'll be making red envelopes and cuplets. So high quality. I could understand a little. Now, let's start the studio vlog. Look what I found at the supermarket. Oh my gosh. It's pom pom pudding. And a little bit of food content. It is pudding flavor. It's actually really good. Ludodurius is around. I didn't really enjoy Ludodurius when I was little. We didn't grow up to have this habit because when I was younger, we weren't in Taiwan. When we came back, all of a sudden we have to prep for this holiday. I just really don't get the meaning of why we have to do this. But right now, I would be reminded of, oh, you started this journey a few years ago. And the reason why I started vlogging in the first place was because I wanted to make couplet it was my first ever product and i just kind of found it fun to be able to record down every step lunar new year's holds a special memory in my heart now it's currently three and i just made this these are red envelopes for lunar new year's i, I have these two designs in 2023 I made three more. This series would all be like puns. For this one, Pingguo is apple and mandarin. Ping an is safety. So we turned the Ping an's ping into Pingguo's ping. This is persimmon because persimmon in mandarin is shi zi and shi shi ru yi. This one is more like a meaning, not exactly a pun, but it's xing xiang shi chen. Xing is heart. So you follow your heart and wishing that all of the things in your heart come true. And this one is 大吉大利. Wishing everything would be fine is 大吉. And 吉 is a really positive meaning in Mandarin. This is orange. Orange is 橘子 in Mandarin. 橘子 as 吉利. 年年有余. It originally looks like this. So it meant wish you have leftovers no matter it's food, items, or fortune. If you have leftovers, that means you have resource. This yu means leftover in Mandarin. Fish is called yu in Mandarin. So if you celebrate Lunar New Year, there would usually be a fish. Um, I'm not really sure about the culture, but I think there was a rule about not finishing all of the fish because then there wouldn't be any leftovers. But I'm not really sure about that part. And I made two. This one is for regular post and this one is for story post. I don't know when I'll be sharing this because most of my target audience towards this is my friends and family. So I would be sending them directly to them first. I already sent out the design to the manufacturer last night. Um, let me check when is Lunar New Year's next year. So, New Year's Eve, February 9th, we have a month left to prepare, and I feel like I could draw a few couplets. Oh, oh. And I got a package! I got this a while ago, but I haven't really sat there on film. It is so cute! So her art account is called Jinku Pumpkin. And her name is Paul. Oh, it's so pretty! It is matte surface. And... Sticker pad. Let's see. Studio Ghibli series. Oh, that's so cute! Oh, so here are all of the designs included inside. And the pigeons! Wow! 
Her art style is so clean and so cute. I love the colors that she used. It's like really soft. And the forks. <laughs> Look at this face. So cute. Oh my god. At first, I thought it really was a frog. But then, I remember that there was a really iconic comment under a video accusing Toad was a frog. And they had a typo. And they typed fork instead of frog. I think this is the main reason this sticker pack is called forks, right? The tadpole. Wow. 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 Look at the details. It's so cute. Yay. Thank you, Paul. Good morning. Today is. Saturday and it is my first time filming in 1024. I finally updated my video last night like I stayed up till 5 a.m. Because it was a really long video. It was like 40 minutes. I woke up around 11 today So it's like six hours of sleep. I haven't really had a really I haven't really rest in the first week of 2024 yet because things are like so busy. Um, I guess being a Taiwanese, it'll be really busy before Lunar New Year's. I'll be packing two orders today. I plan on working on a few client works. Let's start the day with the bowl of cereal. The first year I made couplets, last year I made red envelopes, and this year I want to make both. But the year of dragon... I'm really bad at drawing dragons. When I was little, our school mascot was dragons, and I had a hard time drawing that. They all look like worms. They look really really derpy. Or maybe I should just draw derpy dragons. Instead of like being really serious and drawing cool dragons and it would be pretty fun because like most of my target audience in markets are young people. So I feel like I don't need to be too traditional. I don't have extras of the rabbit couplets, but I, I think I have. So these are the tiger couplets that I made in 2022, which is my first ever product. Well, in my studio, I never explained this in the past because I was afraid that my first vlog would be too long and boring. So I didn't explain too much of a design. So 2022 was the year of tigers. And tiger is Laohu in, in Mandarin. And Huli is like a pun. We don't only speak Mandarin, but we also have a language called Taiwanese. I'm not really sure, but I think so. I'm not really fluent at it. I could understand a little. And this part is like Holy Wang Lai. And Holy was like, give this to you for you. So I made a series of Holy. Wang Lai is more like, like if you have a shop, you would have a lot of customers, a lot of orders like that. Wang Lai is a, another pun of Taiwanese for pineapple. Ong Lai in Taiwanese. Um, this is Ho Li Zuan Da Qian. You make a fortune, you make a lot of money. And here is Lu with the money gun and the tiger. And this is first you'll say trolling one million, I think. A lot of details. And this one is like blowing a kiss. Man, I really miss making this kind of art. So many details and the colors are like super vibrant. This one is Holy Jian Kang. Jian Kang means health in Mandarin. Here's Lu being really energized. Both of them are really healthy. So I made these three in 2022. I hide details like this is 2022. Or last year, was this Tu Fei Mong Jing? It's like a pun of Tu Fei Mong Jing. Tu Fei Mong Jing is like big improvements. They changed the Tu into Tu. Tu Zi is rabbit in Mandarin. I didn't. I didn't have a lot of thoughts last year, so I played it safe. It's Da Ji Da Li, and this is Mochi rabbit, and an orange on his head. 
and he is hugging Lou. My friend said that Lou looked like a red bean over here. Because I am preparing for Lunar New Year's, I stored out the inventory of the red envelopes. I still have around 40 of each. I think I made 400 last year and I only have 80 left. Which means there are like approximately 320 red envelopes that are given out. That is a lot of money. I explained this last year and I think I explained it a, a few days ago. Approximately in one week, you'll see me holding three of these and there will be like five. And I just got an order in on Pinkoi. Someone just ordered this so I will be packing 10 of these. Yay, thank you!
My friend gave me this. It's made with polymer clay. So cute. New colors. I think they got my order wrong. I ordered the pins with the ring on top, but they gave me the other kind and I just I just sent a message to them. Oh my gosh. This is supposed to be gold like this. But they sent me a silver one, so like half of the orders are wrong. I don't really care about refund or something, but this is not my needs and I need to <laughs> It's just a waste of time. I'm having some leftovers from last night. Yay! It's okay, you don't talk too big, just now. Oh, that's why you should always move the canvas. <laughs> that's why you So I saw this reels that has an original audio on Instagram. It was describing a person with the soft heart. Lou popped up in my mind immediately when I saw that reels. It is just like describing what Lou's personality is. He is really caring to other people. Sometimes too nice so he gets caught up in his own emotion. When I designed him, I wanted empathy to be his superpower. And meanwhile, Rocky on the other side is really mischievous and all fun, brave. By being Lou's buddy, he actually helps Lou get out of his own emotional cloud. So Lou and Rocky is such a good combo. You guys could go check out the final results in my YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, and also on TikTok. Election day. Uh, What's the worst thing that could happen? It's probably your light running out of battery. So not good. Market. Day two. My room is a mess right now. years of Tetris battle work real fine. I am good at this. Hi, it's Monday. So I finally could sit down look at these red envelopes man I was actually pretty nervous because it's been one year since the last time I made these I'm not really sure if the manufacturer was consistent with the quality but it came out so good this one and the details look at them wow this is so pretty and I updated this part to my latest logo type and a little Lou 
，年年有余。哦，心想事成。I thought it wasn't important, but these words are my handwriting. And I remember last year when I gave out the red envelopes, my friend was like, "Oh, this is your handwriting." She recognizes my handwriting better than other friends. The way she said it made me feel really happy. I'll be updating this to my shop. I still need to take photos of them, but it's so gloomy today, and this is why I'm sitting next to the window. Part of them are in my luggage. I haven't count the amount. I feel like I should, but I'm kind of lazy. Where is my iPad? Oh, 平安，龙平安。The pun for 龙 is kind of like all, all peace. Stay safe, all peace. I thought of one that is more that is more creative. Rather than traditional, 准时下班 Getting off work in time. So the dragon holding up a sign, and it says no 加班 no working overtime. And Lou is like, Yay, I'm off work and running away from work because my market was under tree. My iPad was super dirty when I got home, so I had to clean my case, and now I have. A naked iPad. Pick up my phone. I shouldn't check again. But here I go, jealous of all my friends. They've got it figured out. I don't. Stuck on a loop, getting all in my head. So much to do, I can't count the endless hours I've spent on failure prone. Times always been hanging. Me, scaring me half to death. I fell asleep at seventeen and woke up thirty. So I let me down. Unfulfilling expectations, wishing I could be complacent. But I'm freaking out. Count for hours, years I've wasted. Thought I'd be happy now. Closing my eyes, try to deny I'm here. How was my life? Everything I feared running this maze with no way out. No, has it all been a lie? Am I deluding myself? Put it all on the line, or put it all on the shelf? Tell everyone I'm fine when I really need help. 'Cause I'm too proud to hear it. So I let me down, unfulfilling expectations, wishing I could be complacent. I'm currently done with two. Good morning. Today is Tuesday. I print out these two last night. Look, it is so high quality. I drew another piece last night, and it's mutton. 
man is usually sticked on refrigerators. In old times, they stick them on where you store your food supplies, keeping your supplies full. So they are like really full. Big tummy loo and dragon. I think I'll be drawing another one today and I'll be printing them out tomorrow. I would be meeting up with my friends tomorrow too and I'll be giving them the red envelopes. I'll update more in the next vlog. Thank you for watching another vlog. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you like this video. Bye!